Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can reuse this session with the help of cookies in the Selenium web driver. So this is the scenario which I'm going to automate in this video. So I have the Jira application installed on my system. Using the API call, I'm going to log in inside the Jira application. After the login, I will extract the session information from the API call and pass that session information to the WebDriver script. So once the WebDriver script has the session information, it can use that session information to interact with the Jira application. So let me list down the steps which I'm going to follow in order to automate this scenario. So for the API call, I'm going to use the rest assured framework. So for that, I need to add the dependency of the rest assured in the pom.xml of this project. And you can get that dependency from the Maven repository. After this, I'm going to add a new package inside our project. And let me call it as session. So these are the steps which I'm going to follow. First, login inside the Jira application using the REST call. After that, extract the cookies from the response of the API call. Then convert those cookies into the WebDriver equivalent. Pass this new cookies to the WebDriver script. and then refresh the browser so that the browser will use the new cookies. So these are the steps which I'm going to follow. Out of all these steps, the first step is going to take some time because it's a REST API call. So I'm going to execute this step in a non-blocking manner so that it will not interfere with the WebDriver script execution. In order to execute this step in a non-blocking manner, I will use the executor service, which is coming from the concurrency package of the Java language. And let me open the API documentation for the Jira application. So this is the API documentation, and this is the API which I'm going to use to log in inside the Jira application. So let us discuss about the design. That means what are the classes which we need to create? So the first class which I want to create is login detail. The responsibility of this class is to store the information about the login, that is username and password, and also return back as those information in the JSON representation. If you look at the API call for the login, it needs the username password in the form of JSON object. And that information will be associated with the request body when we send this particular post request. We are going to create one more class that is application login. The responsibility of this class is to send the request to the login endpoint and also return back as the cookies from the response. And the third class which I'm going to create is the converter class that is going to convert the cookies which we got it from the REST API call into the Selenium equivalent cookies. So first of all, let me add a feature file and corresponding step definition as well as runner. So let me update the feature file with the scenario step. Then I will add the scenario steps. So this is the base URL and this is the endpoint URL for login.
So these are the scenario steps. Let me update this feature file into the runner. I am going to change the dry run flag to true in order to generate the step definition and run this runner. So these are the step definition which we need to implement. After this, I am going to create the login detail class. Inside this class, I am going to create two instance variable that will store the information about the username and the password. After this, I am going to create two public method that will set the value of these two variables. And for this class, I am going to follow the builder design pattern concept. The parameter to this method will be of type string that represent the username. And then I am going to initialize this variable with the variable which is being passed inside the method. Return this. In the similar manner, I will create one more public method for the password. This method will also take the string parameter that will represent the password. After this, I am going to create one more public method inside this class, which is going to use the value of these two variables and return us back the information in the form of JSON object. So public. So the return type of this method is string and the name of the method is build. In order to convert the information into the JSON object, I will use the JSON library. So inside this class, we have a method called toJSON. And in this method, I will pass the object of this class using this keyword. This method will automatically serialize the object of this class into a JSON object. I will store that in a string variable and return that. So if you look at the request body for the API call, the key is username and the password. And that is the reason I give the name of our instance variable in the similar format. After this, I'm going to create another class that is application login. This class will also follow the builder design pattern. Inside this class, I'm going to create two variables. One is for the request body and another one is for the endpoint URL. After this, I'm going to create the public method that is going to set the value of these variables. The parameter to this method is string type and that represents the application URL. In this similar manner, I will create one more method for the request body. After this, I'm going to create one more public method. That method is going to use the value of these two variables to send the request to the application and also extract the cookies from the response. So public void send request. In this method, I'm going to use the rest assured API to send the request. So rest assured dot given. Let me add the static import for this. Given 
accept content type as json dot content type that is also json with body request body dot when dot post because if you look at the api documentation we need to send the post request new uri application url once i have sent the post request i need to make sure that the request is successful that's why i need to add the assertion on the status code then status code should be 200 okay after that i'm going to extract the cookies so this is the method which is present in the rest assured framework that will extract all the cookies from the response after this i need to also change the return type of this method so the third class which we are going to create is called cookie converter the responsibility of this class is to convert the rest assured cookies to the selenium equivalent in this class i am going to create a static method the first parameter to this method is of type cookie which is coming from the selenium framework and the second parameter to this method is again of type cookie but that is coming from the rest assured framework and let me open the class cookies which is coming from the selenium framework so these are the attributes which are present in a cookie so i will copy all this private variable and paste it in our class i am going to use all this variable inside this static method that is why i need to mark all this variable as static in this method i will do a simple comparison if any of this attribute is present in the selenium cookie override the value of that attribute from the rest assured cookie so if selenium cookie dot get name not equal to null name equal to api cookie dot get name in the similar manner i will set all the other attributes and for this to boolean parameter i will check whether the selenium cookies as well as the api cookies have this flag set then only set them to true otherwise whatever coming from the selenium cookie and same for the another boolean attribute that is is http only now i have all the information so i am going to create a new cookie object and return it so return new cookie and this class is coming from the selenium framework and now i need to change the return type of this method in our next video i am going to discuss how with the help of these classes i can reuse the same session which is created by the rest assured api call and use it in the selenium web driver script